will take on caves. That's a dead end. Jungles. Oh. And each other. You can't make it up. What do you think happens then? The Yucatan Peninsula juts out from the east coast of Mexico. It's a popular spot for vacationers, drawn to the thousand miles of shoreline. But just around the corner from paradise lies a thick jungle interior, one of the world's deepest concentrations of caves. Look, there's a little bit of light. Dude, backpack. <laughs> nice. Let's see what we got in this thing. Oh yeah, that's prescription. <laughs> there's about 10 of you. Here are Daisy Dukes. Street map. Suntan oil. Beach towel. There's not much to work with here. So how do we make a fire? Let me see those glasses in there. I'm thinking with this little bit of light that we have coming through the roof, we could probably focus that sunlight into a sharp point and get a fire started. If I can get a flame, we'd still need a torch though. If I can find a stick, cut up the beach towel. This might just work. Maybe I can get this through my leg. These are pretty small. I've got a little bit of this lint right here. It's nice, fluffy material. Great combustion source. Okay, we're about ready. The lint's gonna make a great initial combustion. But what I need now is a secondary way to carry that flame. This piece of paper is gonna be the best bet. Joe, it's really close. Is that torch ready? I just cut the strips. I'm gonna put some uh, oil on them here in a second. The suntan oil acts as an accelerant and an extender. Joe, we got flame. It's burning closer and closer to my fingers. I'm gonna go look for a way out of here. You I'll be down it. there. Okay, move with the purpose, dude. Come here. What's up? Come here. Dude, is that light from the torch or is that coming from sunlight? I need to check this out real quick. I can tell that there is a light source coming from the other side of these rocks. What I can't tell is how far away it is. Do this or we have to return straight back to where we started. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done. Dude, that was a knuckle buster, brother. Oh man, I'm just glad to see blue sky. I'm gonna give this a try. I feel like it can kind of wedge myself in there. You wanna go first? Age before beauty. How come you're not first? Yeah, I'm gonna go Looking good, Matt. You look like a monkey. Yeah, we made it. Look at this. It's like that is freaking it's wicked gotta bad. Be over 30 feet down there. Wow. Not a place you want to be stuck. Once I make it out of this hole, it's back to business. Matt, where did you put the glasses at? Put them right there in the pocket. They're gone. When we were back in the cave and I had the torch, I told Matt to gather up all the gear put it in the backpack, and to follow me. Joe, we're up here in the forest. I can start fire with any of these sticks out here. Matt, no disrespect hey. to you, but this is the cheapest insurance policy for, for a fire right now. I'm going back down. Wait, That's it. Wait, wait. If you go back down there and you can't make it up, what do you think happens then? I hear you, but you know what? You've got to trust me right now to know after 20 years in special operations, I know my body. If I didn't think I could climb back up there, I wouldn't do it. It's not worth it, you Dude, there's something sparkling right there. I think that's just some reflection. I was hoping I'd see it floating in the water. Do you see anything reflecting? It's just a big black hole, Joe. It looks like a bottomless pit. I'm gonna go look around these roots where I saw that little glint reflecting off the water. These eyeglasses are clearly nowhere to be found. That's pretty disappointing knowing that I just came back down here looking for something that is now probably at the bottom of this pit. That really sucks. Like I said, Joe, I'll be able to make fire up here. 
All right, I'm coming back up. My performance is starting to degrade. I'm cold, my grip strength is starting to give away, I'm getting fatigued. This is not the place to stop. I'm glad you did it again. All right, dude, you know what? Lesson learned. I'm relieved to be back on the surface and be back with my partner, but I'm pissed. That was a bad call. Hey, Matt, you wanna hold up for a second? Yeah, what's up? How much farther do you wanna to move today? We've come a long ways, brother, and it's getting late. We still got time for maybe a, another hour walk. Bro, I don't wanna be making a shelter in the dark. Well, I'll tell you what, there are some spots around here, and it seems like there's a bunch of different materials. I'll also grab some of these palms, I'm thinking, as well, for maybe the, for top. the top. We'll get that last. Perfect, yeah, All right. I've got an idea for bug protection, too. I'm gonna go see Oh, good deal. Line. That works for me. That's a tropical rattlesnake. This thing is enormous, it's gorgeous, it's a dangerous animal. A bite from a tropical rattlesnake delivers neurotoxins that can lead to shock, paralysis, permanent blindness, and even respiratory failure. I want to respect this beautiful creature. Look at this thing. What do you have there, brother? I've got some sap from the latex tree out there. I'm just gonna paint this around for bug protection. Oh, great idea. This looks great, good job. Even I made you a pillow. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. So I'll just put a thin bead around here just to keep the bugs from crawling up. I won't believe what I saw just over here. There was Whoa. a tropical rattlesnake. It was about four feet long, about that big around. The most beautiful orangish patterns. Did you think about killing it? It was way too beautiful. I don't get that, that. That doesn't register with me at all. Let me just make sure I under, I just want to make sure I understand this. The, the reason you didn't kill it, it wasn't the fact that it was a dangerous snake. It was just, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. <laughs> Joe and Matt continue navigating west, walking away from the rising sun toward the coast. I'm looking and I don't see anything. I don't know what he's looking at, but he is sure he has seen something. Matt, what's going on in there? Talk to me. I cut its head off. Try to be quick and clean. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. This will be a nice wow. meal for us. I was kind of pissed off at Matt for not killing a snake, but all sins are forgiven. So I had this idea to build a modified bow drill. Basically, I'm taking a log from the forest, propping it up, and wedging it between two trees. Honestly, I think it still needs a little weight, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Looks like I do have a coal there. Now it's time to move that coal carefully. This is the key. You want to cradle it like a newborn baby. Gently put it in the nest, nurture that thing, and lift it up to the wind. And that should be its first breath. See, the wind's kind of swirling around, but it's going against my back now. That's where I want it. Just gently blow on it, and then it'll come into flame. Dude, I thought I smelled smoke. Yeah, we got a fire. As I find Matt, not only does he have a shelter spot, he's got a fire going. That's a home run in my game. What do you got there? It's not a lot, but I found a dead turtle, and I collected some water. 
Oh my God, that water looks so good right now. I mean, it smells a little bad, but bottom line is this, this is gonna work. It looks really good right now. Yeah. Well, let me set this thing down and uh, do a good job. It's, it's been good teamwork. Yeah, man, no doubt. And that's what this is all about. That's right. So collectively, why don't we get that turkey cooking? Because I am freaking hungry. I don't do this often, but I'm gonna serve you. Can I get used to this? I don't know, but today you earned it, man. You definitely shine. Sorry, I don't have any silverware at this restaurant. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have some turtle water. Now we come across a spot, it's starting to open up a little bit, and we're seeing that beautiful blue just stretch across the horizon. And sure enough, you just see this beautiful blue stretch of ocean. Why don't we recon this beach, find a suitable spot to set up some kind of signal fire? And while we're walking, keep your eyes open. I mean, I can see some trash right here. Conch shell. Oh yeah, that's I'll have to nice be able to make a horn out of it. A what? A horn. If you take the conch shell, break off the tip, it makes this really loud horn. So we could potentially use that to signal for rescue. Very cool. Yeah. I know the guy's a musician, so I hope he could play us a tune to get us the hell out of here. Hey, come here. There's a boat down there. Oh. Dude, there's a guy sitting in. Hey! Oh. Hey! Dude, he sees us. Come on. Figure the odds of that happens, brother. 